This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 1015. I'm your host, Jeff Alton, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. No BS Job Search Advice Radio has more episodes than any other podcast in Apple Music, by far. And I know that because I have the number two show, Job Search Radio. That's in the 600s at this point far behind this one. I started a few years later. I now do that show six days a week. This one, seven days a week. And the result winds up being between the two, you get great information that's designed to help you find work more quickly. This show is a nice one. What it does is really very simple. It answers the a question for someone, what's the best way to get your resume noticed? As usual, I give no BS job search advice. Hope you find this helpful. Hope you connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. If you have a question for me that you'd like me to cover on the show, connect with me on LinkedIn and then send the question over, okay? And with that, let's get going. And the question I was asked is, what's the best way to get your resume noticed? Now, this is a typical question I receive from job hunters, but I think it's the wrong one. Let me explain why. To get your resume noticed, people have to find it, which is telling me, how do I get my resume noticed on a job board? Man, if that's all you're doing, you're barking up way too few trees. Because the way to get your resume noticed on a job board is have a background that fits what firms are looking for and to do it in a way that matches up algorithms. So you want to get the key information in the top third, the half of the first page of your resume. So this way, if they've got an applicant tracking system that's looking at your resume, you know, it's going to find the data early. It's going to associate it with recent experience and it's going to pick you out. But that's the wrong question to ask, and let me let me explain why. Resumes are really for when you are the hunter. Hear that. When you're hunting a job and you're tracking down organizations, you're out there submitting a resume to a hiring manager, not to HR, not to an applicant tracking system. You're sending it to a hiring manager who can actually determine whether or not your background fits what they're looking for. And thus to get noticed is to demonstrate how your background fits what they're looking for. Where you can get something noticed is your LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is for when you want to be hunted, for when you want people reaching out to you, not just simply when you're job hunting, but when you're not job hunting. And I can't stress this enough. The person who gets ahead isn't always the smartest. They don't always work the hardest, although those are great qualities to have. People get ahead by being alert to opportunities. Sometimes they're internal to an organization. Most of the time, they're external. And it drives me crazy when people say, I'm happy working where I am. No, you're not. You're not happy. You're making an adequate amount of money. You're doing work that you're comfortable with. You are not happy. And you won't be happy when they march you into the conference room, come the next recession and say, "Uh, Ann, uh, we're going to have to let you go. And you're going to be beside yourself because you gave up your entire life and your career to this firm and expected loyalty back. And there is none. Why are you being loyal to a firm that has no loyalty in return? Start thinking like the chairman of an organization and determine what's your purpose in your career. What's the mission you're setting out for? Why are you working professionally? Is it for a paycheck? And which which point I refer to you as a wimp. Where is my paycheck? Where is my paycheck? Think like a business owner. You have to manage, if it were my business, it would be called the the Altman organization. You have to run your career like it's a business and what serves your business. And that's always about improvement. You're there nine to five. You're there eight to six. Whatever it is, how are you getting better? How are you making yourself more marketable? How are you responding to overtures about doing something different. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not telling you to change jobs. I'm telling you to keep exploring things. But 
I digress. This topic is about what's the best way to get your resume noticed. It should be about what's the best way to get your LinkedIn profile noticed so that people are reaching out to you all the time. There, I've covered that before in other videos. Again, it makes me crazy when people take this passive approach to job hunting and they're sitting there waiting for the phone to ring as opposed to being aggressively out there trying to beat a drum. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, here are a few ways to engage with me. First of all, I just want to start by saying that I no longer do recruiting. I coach people to perform at a high level. So again, I no longer do recruiting. But if you visit my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us, and look at the tabs on the top, you'll see a menu of choices available to you. First of all, you can hire me to do a resume and or LinkedIn profile critique, interview preparation, help you with a salary negotiation, answer your questions about your job search, advise you about a decision you have to make about a job offer. Those are all there as an option. I can do a job search makeover with you where we critique everything you've been doing in your search up until that point and come up with alternatives. If you're relatively early in your search, we can do a complete coaching program where I work with you from beginning to end in half-hour increments so it doesn't have to take a lot of time for each session. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to the show because I love hearing from folks who like it and are interested in my help. Again, linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. You can take my classes on Skillshare too and become a premium member for 99 cents for the first few months. I have a link in the show notes. Just follow that link, sign up, take my classes. Lastly, I want to mention to you, you can find a lot of information at TheBigGameHunter.us, and at times it may seem like it's too much. So you can look at the best of my material at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find work more quickly. Again, that's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'll be back tomorrow with more, and in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Take care.